Today we're going to talk about smoking. My name is Jeremiah and here we are with Tanea. What do you think about smoking? Bad. Anything else you have to say? It can cause cancer. Like what kind of cancer? Every cancer. Parents are smoking in front of their children, which they should not. They should smoke somewhere else. When you're pregnant, you do not smoke because your child will be born with asthma. And that's a hassle. Lung cancer, breast cancer. If you have like an auntie and uncle, what would you have to say to them about smoking? Stop smoking. It gives you bad lungs. If you want to stay healthy, you can eat lots of everything. Drink water, eat apples, oranges, bananas, pineapple. But the thing that you can like eat a little bit, chocolate. Do not smoke because it might cause cancer. Breast cancer, brain cancer, tongue cancer. And it's good. Okay, what's your favourite vegetable and fruit? Well, my favourite fruit is mango. And my favourite vegetable is cucumber. Okay, that sounds like delicious stuff. Is smoking bad for you? Yes. I love my dad and I love my dog. When my dog is wet, he stinks. But hey, I can live with that. He's my best friend. But when my dad is smoking, it's awful. Breathing that smoke is really harmful for me and Scruffy. Even if dad opens the windows, that killer smoke stays in the car. I can live with my stinky dog, but I can't live with my dad smoking in the car. The healthier and cleaner your body is, the better the engine is. Our body is an engine and um, you want to be something, you want to go a long way, go in and keep your body as clean as you can. Well, what's cool around Redfern is there's not a lot of young followers and girls that are smoking that are, than there used to be in the old days. There's a lot more healthier young ones which is really cool for us. Let's show our kids a healthier way of life, a healthier lifestyle, and young kids just don't start because it's not cool, um, and you, one day you'll regret it and want to give up. No, 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 no. Three, three. On, On three. three. One, two, three, quick for life! Are you joking? Have you read the warning? Oh, whatever. No, seriously. Warning. The toxic chemicals in tobacco smoke damage your blood vessels, damage your body cells, and attack your immune system. So what? <laughs> I don't want to be attacked. What? You scared? Look at all that smoke. That guy, he's breathing that smoke. It's killing him. That's passive smoking. That's horrible. I'm going to give it a go. A real friend would join me. I've got a bad feeling about this. Why are we even doing this? This is so dangerous. Yeah, you're right. Why didn't I listen to you? Gum disease, tooth loss, black tongue, yellow fingers. These are some of the scary facts about tobacco use. Let's get out of here. I'm never going back there again. Smoking isn't part of my culture. Passive smoking and secondhand smoke. You've heard of these words, but what do they really mean for you and your mob? Picture this, you're having a ciggy and a yarn. The kids are running around nearby. You breathe the smoke in, you breathe the smoke out. Ah. But that smoke you breathe out doesn't just go away. That secondhand smoke floats around the people near you and it harms them just as much as it harms you. It's as if they were smoking too. And that's passive smoking. When you smoke, you risk your health and the health of your mob. Passive smoking puts children at risk of croup, bronchitis, pneumonia, ear infections, asthma, and heart disease. 
children often breathe secondhand smoke in the car and at home. The chances of becoming a teen smoker increase dramatically if a teen has been a passive smoker in childhood. Passive smoking can cause a lot of harm. Fortunately, it's very easy to reduce that harm even if you're not ready to quit the smokes. Don't allow smoking in enclosed spaces, especially the car. Make a smoking area outside the home. Smoking in another room or by an open window is not enough to avoid harming those nearby. Try smoke-free reminders and put them in your car and home. Ask your visitors to smoke outside, explain it's for the young one's health. Reducing the harm that tobacco smoke causes is something we can all do for our mob and their futures. Let us know what steps you've taken and together we can encourage others to do the same. Hi, my name is Nancy Mike and I'm from the Jerry Cams and I'm Inuk or Inuit and I speak my own language and known as Inuktitut and I encourage you as indigenous people to be very proud of who you are, where you come from and try your best to learn your own language or other languages. Hi, my name's Steve, I'm with the Jerry Cans here at the uh, National Center of uh, Indigenous Excellence and we're uh, supporting the uh, tobacco-free lifestyle. We, none of us in the band smoke. We, uh, I personally never even try to cigarette, I don't want to. <laughs> Take away all your money from all the fun things that you want to do. It'll keep you slow when you're playing sports. Hi, I'm Andrew Morrison from the band The Jerry Cans from Arctic, way up north in Canada. And we are very proud to be a smoke free band. Smoking is, yeah, that's what we would say where we're from, nasty. You're on a quit journey, and so far, so good. However, you have a small challenge coming up. It's Christmas! It's tricky to avoid the smokes at this time of year. Christmas can be quite a lot to handle. Sometimes, having a ciggy just helps. You need a plan for a tobacco-free Christmas. Get in touch with a friend who is on a quit journey too, and arrange to support each other over the festive holidays. Tell everyone you know you have a tobacco-free goal this Christmas. Let them know before you catch up. This way, people will know not to offer you a festive smoke. Of course there will be smokers at the party and they deserve to enjoy Christmas as much as the next person. So why not organize a cool hangout for the smokers, but outside, away from non-smokers, especially children. Try and reduce the general level of smoking by having bowls of chewing gum, carrot sticks, or even those worry beads lying around. Anything to distract from those times of nicotine craving. Chat to your local Aboriginal medical service about NRT, nicotine replacement therapy. It can really help with those cravings. Find out where you can purchase NRT in the neighborhood you are visiting these holidays. And of course, you can always call the quit line on 137848 and talk to an indigenous health worker who understands your situation and will help you through those difficult times. Christmas is a time for giving and cutting out tobacco this year will certainly mean more money saved for your loved ones and of course, for yourself. A Merry Christmas everyone, have a safe and happy holiday. In January 2016, the National Centre of Indigenous Excellence, working in partnership with local community organisations and Redfern Police, selected 15 deadly young leaders to 
to take part in the NCIE Young Leadership Camp at Uluru, Katajuta National Park. The young leaders participated in workshops about cultural identity, emotional and social well-being, breaking the cycle of lateral violence and smoking tobacco. NCIE staff and members of the Mutajulu Aboriginal community facilitated these workshops. Our teenagers gained first-hand experience of customs and traditions from Uncle Sammy Wilson, Mutajulu custodian, who shared stories about his community and the culturally significant areas in and around Uluru. Walking around Mutajula waterhole, we were surrounded by the presence of two ancestral beings, Kunia, the woman python, and Liru, the poisonous snake man. We awoke at 4am to embark upon our 12 km sunrise walk around the base of Uluru with our tour guides, Lauren and Alex from Sea It Outback Australia. Our knowledgeable guides shared the history of the rock art, the dreamtime stories, and the customs and traditions of the local Aboriginal communities. Uncle Sammy, current chair of the board of management for Uluru Katajuta National Park, invited us to join the Mutajuru community, where we visited Mutajuru Community Care and the Job Seeker Centre and our new jobs. We also engaged in workshops with Amata elders, Uncle Lee Brady and Uncle Stanley Douglas, who travelled from South Australia to share songline stories and conduct workshops on the kinship system. We visited a gathering area where Uncle Lee and Uncle Stanley demonstrated honey ant picking and our young leaders were only too keen to dig in. We also visited Katajuta where we experienced spectacular rock formations and incredible desert bush landscapes which were as breathtaking and awe inspiring as Uluru itself. Our deadly teenagers shared their own wisdom and knowledge in the tobacco workshops that we ran. They applied their own thoughts and experiences to tailor the stages of change of a tobacco quit journey. By documenting their own stages of change, they empowered themselves and contributed towards a healthier community lifestyle. Our future leaders reflected on their identity, spiritually, culturally, emotionally, and socially, in order to gain a deeper understanding of themselves their potential, their roles in community, and the next step in their life journey. Having a strong sense of identity and healthy ways to deal with stress are critical skills to tackle the alarming rates of smoking in Indigenous communities. Leadership and goal setting are extremely important attributes and are the foundation of this once in a lifetime trip. Having learnt and experienced so much of culture lifestyle and traditions at Uluru and Katajuta, our young leaders are more confident and capable of becoming future leaders in their communities. Uluru there is just lovely. You're hearing the, the creation stories and you can just feel the power of Uluru in your presence. And Katajuta, we got there yesterday and it was way bigger than Uluru wider but I also noticed that one thing it was growing trees and grass on the top of it and that was because no one walks on it and like they respect it more than all the root like all the root people would walk on it but it's just all about respect and the power of the kind of like the spirits coming straight to you and saying good day how are you Oh, in um, Ananga tribe, they'd be saying Palya. And I just think that that's a great um, time to just think about your whole life and then just leave it here. Like, leave your old life if you had a past problem. Like, leave your old life here. Go back to wherever you came from. A new man, a new woman. Yeah. My experience here was great, it was great, you know, connecting with all the, all the young leaders around here. I think it's a really good experience for all of, us, all of us all. We all came not knowing each other, and now that we're all like one big family and hope to stay connected with everyone after this trip. We're all as a team and I think we should all support each other. You know, one, one of us sacrificed one thing that we all should support each other and no peer pressure, and if someone's happy of their change, we should all support that.
样多美。